let us answer question from reproduction okay so this is human uh reproduction so we are going to answer questions two of the questions from human reproduction okay now this is one of the topic that you need to prepare as you go in an exam this is a wide topic it cutters many uh, areas one of the part is um uh, that is a sexual reproduction uh sexual reproduction so under sexual reproduction you need to look at uh the uh, first part which is uh, asexual reproduction in amoeba and of uh, yeah in amoeba then you look at vegetative um, propagation and all different part of the topic that you need to look at in other words the topic is wide so you need to consider understanding this topic from a to z as you prepare going in an exam so let us have a look at one of the question that uh, came in a particular year okay so this question was on question three that is section uh, a paper two so figure 3.0 summarizes the development processes or the development processes here during as uh during sexual reproduction in human beings a uh, figure 3.0 summarizes the development uh processes during sexual reproduction in human beings the first part is that identify the cells labeled n and p as you can see this is the diagram being referred to so now identify the cells labeled n and p so what is the cell labeled n so as you can see the cell labeled n is right here and of course here um or oh, this is just we can just put ovum that is the ovum or egg so whichever one that you are going to put ovum or egg um you are 100% uh true then what about cell p so now if this is the ovum or the egg and of course this is a sperm so when this they meet they produce cell p and that is the zygote what is the zygote so the zygote is just simply the fertilized egg which means process 1 is fertilization when fertilization has occurred uh it produces a zygote and fertilization in simple term we can just say is that a fusion of uh the nuclei of um the ovum and the sperm to produce a zygote okay you need also to know how to define a uh, fertilization so that is a zygote then of course the second question is name the processes one and two so what are the processes one and two so for process one I think I've already given this is fertilization the one that results into the formation of the zygote so for one is fertilization okay so for one is fertilization then of course what about two so when fertilization has taken place the zygote start dividing and what kind of division is that that is mitosis so mitosis is where one cell divide into two identical are cells okay so as you can see this cell has split into uh, two identical cells so that is the mitosis okay since we are talking of humans if it was in a amoeba would have looked at um, binary fission or something okay or in bacteria so this is mitosis okay now b suggest the part of the female reproductive organ in which process one take place the good part we know what process one is which is fertilization so in other words the question is where do our uh, reproduction take place in humans i mean in female so this occurs in the oviduct or the fallopian tube so it occurs in the uh, oviduct or you can say the fallopian tube you are still 100 percent correct then for C, explain what happens at stage R for identical twins to be produced. So, what happened at R? So, as you can see here, what happened is that one cell, which was fertilized here, divided into two. So, one genome, so here, this one divided into two. So, what we simply have here is that uh the fertilized egg split into two okay babies and of course they have exactly the same genetic 
information. So let us go back and review the question. Explain what happens at stage R for identical twins to be produced. So what happens is that the fertilized, the fertilized egg or ovum, I'll put ovum in the brackets, splits and develop splits and develops in two two uh, identical or two babies let me just say two babies with exactly the same genetic information so please what else how else can you answer this question let me hear from you so be able to uh type in the, your comment in the comment section type in what you think uh is another way that you can uh, explain or another way that you can answer uh, this question otherwise we'll be waiting to uh, learn from you describe the two situations which can result in two infertility and cause process one not to occur so describe two uh, situations which can result in two infertility and of course cause process one not to occur in other words they are asking us what cause infertility because if um, infertility is or infertility occur then of course fertilization will not be able to uh, take place okay so now infertility we can talk of you need to know what cause infertility in male what cause infertility in what in female but for this one we are going to talk about infertility in female because they are saying uh, uh fertilization for fertilization not to occur okay i feel we just talk of um uh, yeah what happened in female so now what could be one of the cause or the situation that could result into infertility so one of them is sexually transmitted infections so sexually transmitted infections example we can talk of uh, gonorrhea we can talk of gonorrhea now what happens is that gonorrhea when is left untreated this is a treatable uh, sti but when it is left untreated it destroys the fallopian tube okay so when left untreated it uh, destroys or block the fallopian tube and of course this result uh, into the sperm not reaching to um, the ovum so that fertilization can take place so that is simply what you can say on this one then of course they are saying two so the other one can be also the inability to ovulate okay inability to ovulate you know that ovulation is just the process in which females uh, release eggs so when the egg is not released fertilization of course will not take place because the sperm will have no egg to uh, fertilize so these are the two uh, situations that could result in two infertility or process one not to take place but quite a number of answers also would like to hear from you so be able to type in your answers so that we can all learn from you so let us make it uh, interactive so be able to type in your answer don't feel um don't feel uh, scared of the answers that you um, that you have that people may judge you so you need to give the answer so that we can know that if you have correct answers or wrong answers otherwise you need to let go of uh, the wrong answers then of course you get the correct ones so please be able to also contribute and thank you very much for those that have been contributing then here is the second question figure four summarizes the stages in the formation of human fetus so also this is fertilization so now identify the cells labeled t and u so this time around we have this one as t and of course this one as u so we are going to go direct t is uh the sperm uh cell okay and the sperm cell is different from uh, let me just bring out something here uh, though it might sound to be uh more like a joke but this is uh what i've encountered uh in most of you you don't know the difference between the sperm cell and of course the root hair cell so this is the sperm cell because of the tail okay so this is a sperm cell and of course you it is um 
the ovum the ovum or the egg okay then of course state one way in which uh COT and you in figure four are genetically similar so how is the sperm and the ovum um genetically similar so as you know the sperm and the ovum are produced by the process of meiosis and of course they have haploid number of chromosome so they both have haploid number of chromosome okay half a number in humans we have how many 46 23 pairs but for these they have 23 so haploid number of chromosome that is how uh, that is the similarity that is there so when the fusion occurs that is when now it become a diploid okay mention three functions of the part labeled u so now we have here this fusion occurs mitosis occurs and of course there's a division of cells here bow of cells and of course this part here is the placenta okay the fetus and now this is the placenta so in other words what is the function of the placenta so one of the function of the placenta is diffusion of auxin and nutrients so we can say diffusion of oxygen and nutrients from where from maternal blood so it means from the mother to um to the fetal blood fetal blood so i don't want to to to, to utilize the space that's easy so diffusion of oxygen and fat and nutrients from maternal blood to the fetal blood that is one of the function then of course the other one we can talk of diffusion of carbon dioxide and urea and other waste from the fetal blood to the maternal blood diffusion of um carbon dioxide and urea and other wastes from uh from fetal blood to maternal blood then of course in addition to this since we are looking for three so the other one uh the other function of the placenta it produces hormones okay so produces hormones one of the hormone that is produced is progesterone okay pro progesterone now this progesterone prevent ovulation and menstruation during our uh, pregnancy so that is the function of this so these are some of the function of the placenta but we have quite a number of them uh, or quite a number of uh, function of placenta also this one be able to contribute what you think uh, are some of the answers that we've left out here otherwise we can move to question b identify three causes of infertility in human beings so this one just came as the one that we've answered already so one of them is sexually uh, transmitted transmitted infections STI such as the gonorrhea so there are a lot of uh, sexual transmitted infections out there so those if left untreated they result into or they affect reproductive uh, organs then also we can talk of alcoholism so alcoholism is one of the cause of um, uh, infertility okay especially in men too much alcohol depletes the uh, zinc ion in the body and this zinc, zinc ion is needed in high concentration during a uh, sperm formation so this process of forming a uh, sperms uh, requires zinc you know that uh, infertility can be as a result of low sperm count so if no much sperms are produced per volume of uh, the sperms that are ejaculated it is very difficult to uh, fertilize the ovum approximately millions of sperms are produced per every ejaculation so 
that is what we call a uh, sperm count so this one increases the sperm count so alcoholism in men uh, or too much alcohol depletes the uh, zinc ion in the body that is needed in high concentration during the sperm formation so alcoholism that is how you explain it then also we can talk of uh, smoking okay so also smoking affect uh, or result in true infertility okay so these are some of the answers that we were supposed to put in the questions that came in these particular years so like i've guided reproduction is one of the topic that you need to really understand because it's a wide topic and of course it's a topic that cannot miss in an exam so as you prepare make sure that you prepare this topic intensively otherwise we can end here so please if you're writing next year you're writing gce next year that is 2025 the right time to start learning is now because december ecz is opening uh registration for so you have to enter for your subject entering of subject start november so now this is the time for you to decide what are the subjects that we offer so we have mathematics we have uh physics we have chemistry we have biology we have english and of course we have adma if you are interested to join us you can contact the number 0976 so let me just write it properly 0976 402563 and please don't forget to share uh, these videos for those that are writing in november so please kindly share to as many people as you can what i want at the end or by next year that you passed because you uh, went through my recordings so please get to share encourage your friend to subscribe to this youtube channel and let us make it big otherwise see you in the next one